sister. You've been on my mind. So, I want to talk to y'all about something. Where's Nova? Nova, tell your mom that I said you need to come over for Thanksgiving. She ain't even gonna come. I will Uber you. I said, "There, your real hair." Yes, this is my real hair. So, let's talk about being real for a second, right? Because I want to address something that happened yesterday here on Instagram. And I really hope that the brand that I met... I'm not even going to say the brand's name. But I hope that they understand what I'm about to say and that it's... In no way, shape, or form, I'm saying anything negative about them. So, I had, I love your album. Thank you. It's just an EP, but shout out to all y'all who are still streaming Moods of a Cancer. It's on all streaming platforms. Um, you know, a lot of you guys don't know this, but Vacation was taken off the radio months ago. That's something I'll talk to you guys about one day in my E! True Hollywood story. But shout out to those of you, especially the DJs who still be playing it. Matter of fact, I need I got to email DJ Haitian Mike. But, you know, people who really, really support supported me with this EP because I really didn't have the support. Um that I should have had. And like I said, you know, I'll probably talk about this on my E! True Hollywood story one day. Um, <laughs> cause I'm, I know I'm gonna have one. <laughs> but, um, just know like, it's really been one hell of a ride these last couple months especially with this music shit just really it really just shows you just how fucked up people be and how people will fuck over their own people um yeah that's all i have to say but um yeah so yesterday a black owned brand posted a makeup tutorial with me on their page. And, you know, I remember going live while doing this makeup and, you know, the feedback was so great and everybody loved it, whatever. Then they post the video and the comments that I got were so horrible that they just had to take it down because... Anybody who was going to those comments, it was like, literally, it's like, for some reason, it's like, Jessie Wu, so let's go in here and let's attack her. Let's talk about how the foundation doesn't match her neck or how ugly she looks without no makeup. And, oh, my God, she looks like a raccoon. And, oh, she looks like a gremlin. And, oh, she should have shaved her mustache. And just all these comments. And it's like, let me start off just by addressing First things first. I'm a dark skinned girl. Uh, yes, they should have taken the video down. If I if I was that brand, I would have taken the video down too. Because the comments were just... They were that bad. They were that bad. They were that bad. If I was that brand, I would have taken the, 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 the video down too. Because the thing is too... You don't know where I am, you know... As a human being, you don't know in what emotional space I am. You don't know 
what like when when you go to a post that's about you and and literally all the comments are calling you ugly, calling you names, LOLing. Ooh, yeah, y'all eat her up. Yeah, I knew y'all was going to eat her up in these com- It's like literally like people were just so excited to go into this com- to the comments and talk about how I look. But number one, let me start off by saying num- number one, as a dark skinned girl, a lot of us have this thing where our neck is darker than our face and our chest. I don't know if you guys realize that. But literally, like, our face will be one color, our neck will be darker, then our chest will be the same color as our face. Literally. Um, I don't know if you black women... I thought black girls... Because the comments were from black girls. And so that shit was really... That, that shit really had me fucking confused. Because the same girls will be brown skin girl. Your skin just like pearls. Y'all were the main ones in these comments. T- talking about my skin and how ugly it is. Or talking about how I look like a raccoon with no makeup. Or, you know, just talking about how ugly I am. But y'all, brown skin girl. Come on, your skin just like pearls. Y'all be the main ones. Y'all be the main ones. So that shit was just, it was like, damn. What happened to the skin? Your skin just like per. What happened to that energy? What happened to that energy, bitch? What the fuck happened to that fucking energy? What happened to the, your skin just like pearls. The best thing in the world. I wouldn't trade. What happened to that? What the fuck happened to that? Where was that energy in the comments from you brown skin women? Where, where was that energy? Okay? So, I'm watching all these black women leave these comments. I'm like, I, I thought, what happened to black girl magic? What happened to... Show your real self. Show who you really are. What happened to embrace who you are? Embrace your real hair. Embrace your real your skin. And what happened? What the fuck happened? What the fuck occurred? What, where was that energy? I was waiting for that energy. I was hoping for that energy. I didn't get it. What happened? the fuck happened I thought as black women in 2019 we know that melanin comes in different tones I just thought that was some shit that was fucking understood in 2019 (laughs) it was all a lie it was all a lie (laughs) listen I'm like Really, y'all? Y'all? I thought we knew melanin comes in different tones. Like, I thought that we knew that the darker you are, the harder it is to match your face to your neck. Especially when when a lot of people assume, when they see a dark-skinned girl, a lot of times, you know, we don't have, we don't have pores. But one thing a lot of dark-skinned girls deal with is dry skin. So when you have dry skin and you have your neck area, your neck area is really a, it's going to be drier than your face. That's just the bottom line. And so if you're putting makeup on your face, you might put a little foundation on your neck too, but that shit, your neck is drier. And then your neck, you're all, most of the time you're looking down. So all that skin is just scrunched up together. It's going to be darker, but I don't even know why I'm getting, I thought that this was all fucking understood. I thought this was understood. So when I saw those comments, I was like, oh my God. But then it was when I saw the comments of people calling me ugly. And here's the thing. Literally, the past two and a half years since I started this internet journey, I've had people call me ugly. 
And the thing about that is for me, I never knew I was ugly until I showed the internet my bare face. I never knew I was ugly in my, I never knew that. I never knew that. Every day that I fucking wake up, I feel like a goddess. When I look in the mirror, bitch, I see a bad bitch. I see a beautiful brown skin bitch. I see a bitch with clear fucking skin. The skin may be dry, but bitch, it's I am heat. Like my skin is here, bitch. Okay? It's nice. It's dark. I look good. I look beautiful. I've ne I never, ever, 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 ever thought I was ugly until I would see these comments. And the thing with w the word ugly is a word that I never throw around. And I'm explaining to you why. The word ugly is a strong word. When you call somebody ugly, it is a strong fucking word. And the thing is, the same people that will call you ugly, if you're not careful and you don't know who the fuck you are, that ugly, that word ugly will seep through your, your, your fucking soul and it will sit there. And next thing you know, you think you're ugly. So then you go out and you do shit to fix your ugliness. Then the next thing you know, you're doing this to your face. You're doing that to your body. You're doing it. Then you're unrecognizable. And then people love to throw, oh, why did she do that to herself? She was so pretty. Oh my gosh, she went and did all this to herself. Why did she do this? She was so pretty. I have never thrown around that word. But when I saw those comments, I ain't gonna lie to you. It pissed, it made me sad. And a, a big part of why it made me sad was because because I have a the platform that I can't that I have I can't go and say certain things to people because then what happens is then a screenshot uh, it gets screenshotted then brands drop you and you know people don't want to work with you anymore you know what I'm saying so I can't go and say certain things to certain people I can't clap back the way I want to I can't tell you to, I can't even say what I would say. But then lastly, this is what really killed me. This is what really killed me. Not too long ago, not too long ago, this brand was, get, was being dragged for reposting, not working with, not partnering with, just reposting a video of a white beauty blogger who we all know to be trash, right? Should they have reposted that? No. But they did. And they were fucking dragged for that shit. Oh, you're supporting, you're supporting racism. You're supporting a man who, 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 who's racist, a white man who's racist. and da, 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 da. But then you same people who drag them for that, they post a video of me, a black girl, getting my makeup done. And you come in the comments and you leave the ugliest of comments, calling me ugly. Like calling me ugly. Mind you, that same white blogger, we were dragging him for calling a black woman ugly, basically. But then y'all turned around and y'all did the same thing. The same thing. The same thing. Brown skin girl. Skin to the light brown. The best thing in all the world. What happened? What? What happened to that? What? Ha what happened? What happened to that? What happened to the brown skin girl? What happened?
That shit was sad to see. That shit was fucking sad to see. And the thing is, y'all love to preach and tell black beauty bloggers to, we need inclusion, or you'll go into these, these makeup brands, we need inclusion, we need, we need This is literally a black owned company. You can say what you want about them, whatever, but this is a black owned company posting a black girl and you black girls went into the comments and called her ugly. You did the same shit that you were just dragging a white man for doing. You did it. You did it. That shit is ugly. If there's one thing that's ugly, that shit is fucking ugly. That shit is fucking ugly. And, um... So, yeah. They had to take down the video. And as they should. I, I totally agree with them taking down the video. Because even me, the person in the video, I couldn't go to the comment section and, and, and read through the comments and comment back. And, hey, yeah, this is the, they, they were playing my song. I couldn't even enjoy that. I couldn't even fucking enjoy the experience. Because all I saw was fucking ugly ass comments from other black girls. <laughs> Alonzo! Alonzo, come do my hair! Shit. I gotta get a budget first. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, that shit was just the ugliest of ugliest. And then, I just want to even take it a step further because... You know, I get a lot of these comments about my appearance. Sometimes, like, I even want to go about, I just, I even want to adjust my hair or even my, my body. There's been times when I've, I've uploaded pictures or videos, you know, of me in, you know, like a bra or like a crop top or something that shows, you know, my chest. And, like, I'll get comments. It's like, you know, I, I expect, like, I expect men to say certain things because, and no offense to men, but y'all just y'all y'all are fucking dumb. Um, so I expect stupid shit in my comments from men. But when I get comments from women saying, "Oh yeah, are you gonna do? Are you gonna get your your your, your titties done? Are you gonna get your breasts done?" It's like y'all bitches don't understand that women come in all shapes, sizes, forms. Like you don't you don't you don't fucking understand that everybody's not blessed with with big ass titties. You don't know that people have flat chests and that they're proud of it, bitch. I've never had a nigga as flat as my chest is. I've never had a nigga complain about that shit. When I walk into a motherfucking bedroom, my 24 A cups get sucked on like double D titties, bitch. I have never heard a complaint from nan nigga. You don't know nan nigga. Uh -uh. I've never had a complaint from nan nigga. Not one. No, not one. No, not one. No. Never had a complaint. I come through, my titties get sucked. 24 A cups and all. Shout out to everybody. The, the itty bitty titty. I ain't no nan nigga. Nan nigga has never complained about my titties. So why do I have women in my comments telling me that I need to go get my titties done? I will never understand that shit. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, are y'all okay? Y'all don't know that titties come in all different shapes and sizes, bitch. Like, we, we here, bitch. The little titty, the itty bitty titty committee, we here. I'm sorry. I'm not spitting down my chicken. The itty bitty titty committee, we are here, bitch, and we ain't going nowhere, period. We are small, and we are proud of that shit, and these fuck niggas still gonna suck our titties like they some motherfucking double Ds up in this bitch. We don't get no complaints. So why is it that you others are always making these comments? Then you wonder why bitches with low self-esteem going and do all this shit to their titties and their body. I ain't got time for that shit. First of all, the, the, I'm going to let y'all know straight up. I ain't got $10,000 to play with. Now, I got, I got a lot of money in my bank account. But, bitch, I, none of it is to play with. The only place I play with my money is Amazon Prime. That's it. That's it. 
I ain't got ten thousand, not ten, ten to fifteen thousand dollars to be playing with. Period. And then the thing, you gonna buy these titties and every every ten years you gotta re up. I see a lot of these bitches, they be getting these titties and they gotta re they be changing their titties every couple years. No, don't nobody got time to be playing with their titties like that. And I haven't even had churn yet. And mama always told me, Jazz, don't do nothing to your titties because when you get pregnant, your titties gonna grow. So when one of these fuck niggas get me pregnant, my shit finna grow. In the name of God, my shit finna grow. Period. I, I don't need no fucking surgery. I don't need no surge. My shit finna grow in Jesus' name. So stop telling me to fucking go get my titties done. My mama always says, Jessica, you don't have titties now, but your titties going to come. You don't have titties now, but your titties will come when you have, when you have children. Okay. And my mama ain't never lied to me. My mama has never told a lie. To this day. To this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> mama who ain't never lied to me. She done a lot of fuck shit, but one thing she ain't never do is lie to me. She always told me. Jessica, when you're going to get pregnant, your titties will grow. So don't do nothing. Don't go put nothing in your titties. A lot of time they're putting poison in your titties. Next thing you know, you have cancer because your, your body don't understand the, the thing they put in your titties. So with, when, when God gives you children, your titties will grow. And that's, and that's on period. That's on epi. That's it. That's it. So stop telling me to go get my titties done. And another thing. Lastly but surely. Last church announcement. When I post my real hair, stop telling me to straighten my hair. <laughs> DJ Nasty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got a call into the radio station one day. Oh, oh, oh. Yo. When I post my natural hair, stop telling me to straighten my natural hair. Stop. You know why it's puffy and all that? Because I don't put heat on my hair. And that's how it can flourish. I put my Crayola Sons. Hold on, let me get my Crayola. And, and, and shout out to Crayola. I put my Crayola Sons. Put my L'huile Mascriti. Put that thing on in there. First of all, y'all y'all don't even know my hair journey. Y'all don't know what I had to go through to get to even get here. Y'all don't even know what I had to fucking go through to get here. Stop telling me what the fuck to do with my shit. Stop. First of all, bitch, it took mad long for, for the perm to leave my shit. I, the last time I permed my hair, it was like four years ago. When I was still doing sew ins with leave outs. Y'all hoes know what I'm talking about. When you do the sew in with the leave out, you go get your little perm, but you go get your just for me. You put the perm on the edges and on your leave out. That shit was fucking breaking my hair. So then I started putting it on my own hair because I, I was tired of paying the, 80, the, the $85 to get the affirm perm. Y'all know when you go to the salon and then my, I always had long hair. So when you go to the salon, bitch, the the you 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 look at the wall, the perm price be like sixty five dollars. You sit in the chair, it's like it goes from sixty five to one hundred and twenty five dollars. Why? You got to get the perm. Oh, if if the hair is um longer than uh past your shoulders, we gotta add twenty. We gotta add twenty five dollars to that because now we gotta we gotta use two buckets of perm, and you gotta you want to shit trim now, right? Okay, so now we gotta get it trim. You need a hot oil treatment. You need a conditioner. It, bitch, how the fuck this shit say sixty five dollars? I'm leaving the salon paying one hundred and twenty five dollars, and you hoes want a tip, so I gotta tip your ass and. One thing about me, I always tip y'all hoes because I don't want y'all talking shit about me. That's all. That's always been how I've been. So, I'm going to tip you an extra $20. So, guess what, bitch? Now I don't pay $145 when I fucking leave the salon. And, and four years ago, bitch, I was down to a fucking call center making $15 a fucking hour. So, no, ma'am. No. So, I literally had to... 
grow out my motherfucking perm. And it took forever because bitch, that's that just for me. That shit got into my fucking DNA. I just took a DNA test, found out I'm a motherfucking perm box. I'm a motherfucking perm box now because this shit just won't leave my hair. I kept having to trim my shit. It took forever. Okay? So now, bitch, even now, there's some sides of this where there's still a little bit of perm. So stop telling me what the fuck to do. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I, none of y'all hoes was there when I was growing this shit out. None of y'all hoes. So stop fucking telling me what the fuck to do with my motherfucking hair. Period. When I post my shit, like that shit and go. Like it and go. Like, leave a comment, yes, and go. And fucking go. <sighs> and, and one last thing. No. And, and one last thing. And I'm and I'm gone. Y'all love asking that stupid ass question. Oh, you got all that hair. Why you wear a wig? Because I want to. Because I want to. I want to. I want to. That's why. <laughs> so sick of this shit. So sick of this shit. Y'all always ask me that same dumbass question every time I post my hair. Oh my God, sister, why, why you, why you always wear pelvic? Because I want to. Parce que m'vle. Parce que m'vle. Parce que foot vle. Porque yo quiero. Porque yo quiero. Mad. <laughs> Y'all killing me with this shit. Y'all playing with my feet. Y'all killing me with this shit. I love y'all. I really do. I love my tribe. <laughs> DJ Nasty, you don't want this. I'm eating this nasty ass chicken and broccoli because I got a new trainer. And I'm hoping he goes from training my body to training my guts. No, I'm just kidding. I hope he didn't see that. But anyway, he told me to eat healthy and shit, so I'm eating healthy. But anyway... I love y'all. I love y'all. I do. I love y'all. I do. I love my tribe. I love my supporters. Like y'all, like I told y'all, I said <laughs> I got a lot of tea. And I've been going through a lot. And to be honest, like if it wasn't for, for y'all just supporting me and shit, a lot of things wouldn't happen. But I just had to address this shit because it's like between the comment, like the, it's just co some comments. It's like, I just have to address it because obviously I can't go out of control. I can't go off the handle, you know, on, to on social media now because I'm a grown up now and I have to be, I have to be a grown up and I have a PR and I have management. I have all, you know, I have all these motherfuckers <laughs> who I love, but they all, all Jesse, you can't Jesse. I'm like, Oh my God. So I have to be responsible. But at the same time, I feel like I should still be able to just tell y'all, like, what, you know, how this stuff makes me feel. And some of this stuff really does hurt my feelings. Like, it really does. Um, but I have to understand, too, that a lot of people, that's just, that's just the most, like, the, 
Instagram, the comment section is sometimes the most attention some people get. So they're going to do anything for the likes. I just have to understand that. You know what I'm saying? But bitch, catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that, ho? Old puss ass hoes. But yeah, guys. So, that was it. So, just wanted to drop in. Tell you guys about that. And that's it. So, I don't want to take more, more of your time. I want to hurry up and eat this before it gets too late. Um, But yeah. Oh, and another thing. No, I'm saying. <laughs> One last thing, though. Um, I um, I am shooting Pick Up the Phone December 2nd. And I actually am looking for somebody to be my love interest. So I think maybe I'm going to make a post about it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I definitely want to find somebody in the New Jersey, New York area. The video is going to get shot in New Jersey. So, you know, I want somebody... That got some big ass Zozo energy, you know. Somebody I could have camera sex with, you know. Yeah. Um, Avery was supposed to do it, but he's on tour with Christina Aguilera, so kudos to him. Yay, Avery! I'm really kind of sad. I know we would have, woo, we would have gave y'all, we would have gave y'all a show. But he's on tour, so I'm really happy for him. Broderick. Man, Broderick is like my brother. So I don't even think I could do it with Broderick. But I love Broderick, though. But yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's some niggas out here. There's some men's up here. Some Brooklyn niggas. Some Queens niggas. Some Jersey niggas. Some North niggas. Listen, one thing about these North niggas, they be fine. Now, I just be scared to get shot. But niggas from North, them niggas be, them niggas be fine now. Niggas be fine. Oh, Avery, you're here. <laughs> Avery, you want, you want to jump on my live real quick? And tell everybody, hey. Da Vinci's my cousin. No, I could not do Da Vinci. Um, but shit. I, you know what? I told Avery, I was like, you know what? That's just God. God knew. God knew. Who would have did that damn video? <laughs> I'd have got pregnant. Without Avery's consent. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the lights. Nigga, we shooting a different video. We ain't doing pick up. We, do, we shooting a different video, nigga. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, um, shoot, I'm in Jersey. Like, what's up with the North? Like, North niggas, y'all be fine. Niggas from North be fine. It's just, I be scared. <sighs> Um, I re I the other day at Hot 97, I met this rapper. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's really popular out here. And you know what I'm saying? I talked about him on my um, on Station Head. And I met him. I was like, Hey, mm -hmm. hey, my name Jesse. Whatever. What's your name? He gave me his name. I was like, Okay, so you know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about yourself. He's like, Well, you know, a nigga done got shot five times. I was like, Word, word, word. Anything else? <laughs> like, is there anything else? <laughs> you know, a nigga got shot five times. I was like, well, why? I said, well, can I see the wounds? I mean, I didn't know what else to say to this nigga. Like, can I see the wounds? <laughs> My PR was like, Jessica. <laughs> she even called me Jess. She's like, Jessica? No. I was like, girl, you know how I am, girl. I'd be fascinated by niggas who done got shot and made it. Never would have made Like, you know what I'm saying? I love that. Niggas that survive shit, I love that. That means that he mean, that means he a survivor. He a survivor. Like, you know what I'm saying? He done survived some shit. Five, five times? Five times, nigga? That's a survivor. That's a nigga who can go through shit with you. That's a, that's a nigga. Y'all could go through some things. A nigga survived five bullet wounds. Anaya, that's that's a man that can go through some things with you, okay? These other these other dudes be soft, no, I'm <laughs> but yeah. So I really don't.
don't know anything else about him other than that he's a rapper. He got shot five times. Um, he's from Newark. So, men from Newark. But y'all be fine, though. Y'all be fine. Y'all be chocolate. I love chocolate. Ooh, I just love me a chocolate man. Y'all be fine. But y'all be getting shot. And, uh, yeah. Don't want my video set being shot. And I... <laughs> I would like to make it to 2020 <laughs> without any wounds. <laughs> and my insurance is not active until January 2020 because I just signed up for it. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, am I a ride or die? No, I'm not a ride or die. I ride, but I ain't dying. I will ride all day. I'm here for the adventures, all that shit. But dying? Mm -mm. I ain't doing that. I ain't going to the crossroads till it's my time, bitch. I ain't dying for now one of y'all niggas. <laughs> I ride, though. <laughs> I told y'all how my ex one time was like, oh. <laughs> That's what ended my last relationship. He was like, oh. You know, babe, I love you. I'm like, I love you too, babe. And he was like, you know, like, our love is just getting stronger and stronger. I'm like, yeah, it's so strong. It's so strong. And he was like, I'm saying, though, like, if a nigga was, like, to get jammed up, would you ride? Like, you know, like anything happened, like if I got locked up or whatever, like would you hold a nigga down? I say, I'll send letters. Woo! <laughs> 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 I say, I'll send letters. <laughs> I will definitely keep the lines of communication open. <laughs> That's about it. Bitch, that was the last day we went on. Mind you, we was in the islands. Child, he was busting my pussy open in the islands of Waikiki. <laughs> then I told that nigga I wasn't riding. And he was like... <laughs> is mutual nigga good riddance okay yeah bitch i'm riding back to the house i'm riding to safety i don't know what you riding to but i'm riding to safety and freedom <clears throat> okay my ancestors went through too much for my ass not to keep my freedom okay period huh. that's that on that y'all all right let me let y'all go. I don't waste y'all time. And I'll say it live. Y'all can go back and watch it. All right. Love y'all.